Hello and welcome back to The Wandering Wind, and today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite anime films of all time. Now, I'm going to be doing another video entitled Animated, so don't get this confused with that. This is specifically dealing with anime or Eastern animation. So let's get started with number five, which is going to be um, basically anything Hayao Miyazaki. So, Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, um, Prin Princess, Monon uh, Princess Mononoke, um, all of those films from Studio Ghibli and Hayao Miyazaki are just excellent. They set the bar pretty high for just anything compared to later or even earlier Japanese and Eastern animation as far as um, anime-esque and anime-styled film. I mean, wow. Studio Ghibli was kind of like the breakout thing for America, especially when in the early 2000s, Disney started licensing the films here in America and helping people actually start... Um, getting exposure to the films. Yes, you, you would occasionally get um, premieres on networks like Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, but for the most part, you didn't get that until Disney started licensing the films. So definitely watch the Hayao Miyazaki classics. And at number four, I would love to just hammer on the work of just um, Summer Wars and um, other works from that particular animator that I cannot name at this time, but I will definitely be looking up. But Summer Wars is definitely one of those films that you really just, you need to see. It is Awesome. <laughs> um, Mamoru, M Mamoru, I I'm probably butchering this, but Mamoru Hosoda. Yeah. Um, he's made films like Digimon Adventure. Well, no, no, no. Um, he, he's made The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Summer Wars, The Boy and the Beast. <gasps> Oh, and my favorite wolf ch I'll, I'll get into that. I'll get into that. That's later on. That's later on. But definitely, if you've ever wanted to watch a good anime film, please make sure to watch some of Mamoru Hosoda's greatest works. Definitely. Um, and number three, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Anything Pokemon... Any of the films from one to I'm I'm gonna go one to six. One to six. Watch those first, okay? The later ones, yes, they're just as good, but definitely watch the classics. They're so good. They're so good. Um especially the first two. The first movie and two thousand were definitely just wonderful in the way that they were made and the way that the storyline was let loose just right off the bat. I mean, wow. It, it was really good. So definitely, definitely pick those up if you can. Watch those. Um, I do believe that they can be viewed on places like Netflix and Amazon Prime and maybe Hulu, I'm not sure. But definitely pick those up and watch those. Um, so that's my number three, uh, number, yeah, three, number three. At number two, I'm going to say it again, um, I am a big fan of certain series, and definitely, for me, one of the best series that I've ever seen is, um, the, um, hmm. The just the wonderful work that is the the 
the Naruto series, and I just, I cannot believe how good this series is, and definitely the films live up to a lot of the hype. Now, maybe not so much the last, but, you know, definitely a lot of the other films are really good. So if you ever need to have something else to watch as far as anime films, definitely pick up um, one of the Naruto films, especially once they start with Shippuden. Um, yes, some of the original series films are good, but I wouldn't start with um, The Land of Snow unless you're looking for, like... Uh, something to criticize. To be honest, the first film wasn't very good. And, um, and number one, I just want to say, first of all, um, I'm sorry to those of you that may say, oh, you picked two films from the same author. You know what? I did, but, you know, Wolf Children is just that good. It deals with the story of Hana, a young, um, university student who meets with this man who is never named in the film itself, but who is credited in the end as Okami, which means literally wolf god or wolf demon, whichever you wish, um, who ends up being a half-wolf, half-human hybrid. And this actually goes back to the mythology of the Hansu wolf, which is a um, an extinct... Um, race of wolf that was ex um, exclusive to the Honshu Island or the Honshu province over in Japan. And so they get into a relationship together. They have two children, Ame and Yuki, rain and snow. And um, the father dies because reasons where... Um, it's assumed, well, it's uh, shown that he died hunting or whatever, but, um, so, you, um, then Hana has to hide her kids because they're half-wolf, too, and they she has to hide her kids from the authorities and stuff. They move out to the country. She gives them the option to either be a human or wolf. Ame chooses to be a wolf. Yuki chooses to be a human, and the whole film, after, like, the first 30, 45 minutes, is just the story of these two children who are part of both worlds trying to decide who they are in a world that really doesn't cater to either one um, completely. And, you know, at the end, I thought to myself, well, why couldn't you just be both? But it after watching it a second or third time, I'm like, I understand why. Because, to be honest, to be forced to choose only half of yourself is horrible. But at the same time, being forced to choose all of you and yet not be accepted, that's even worse. I mean, to be honest, that's almost like choosing death. So I understand that they had to choose one nature over the other in the end, but at the same time, it just felt kind of incomplete, especially since they only um, go up to the point where Yuki um, enters into um, the their, their equivalent of middle school when the film ends, but still, it's a really, really great film. If you want to watch it, it's wonderful. You can actually find the film on Netflix is where I first watched it. I don't know if it's on there still, but I know it was. It was... It was brilliant. It was brilliant. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you so very much. And you guys have a great night. I love you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.